18 years ago on the morning of September 11, 2001, members of the Islamic extremist group Al-Qaeda hijacked four planes in a coordinated terrorist attack. 8.46 a.m., hijackers deliberately crashed American Airlines Flight 11 into floors 93 through 99 of the North Tower One World Trade Center. 9.03 a.m., hijackers deliberately crashed United Airlines Flight 175 into floor 77 through 85 of the South Tower Two World Trade Center. 9.37 a.m., hijackers deliberately crashed American Airlines Flight 77 into the Pentagon near Washington, D.C. 9.59 a.m., the South Tower World Trade Center Two collapses. 10.03 a.m., after learning of the other attacks, passengers on United Flights Airlines Flight 93 launched a counterattack on hijackers aboard their plane to try to seize control of the aircraft. In response, the hijackers crashed the plane into an empty field near Shadesville, Pennsylvania. 10.28 a.m., the North Tower One, One World Trade Center collapses. The 16-acre World Trade Center site is in ruins with collateral damage affecting all adjacent properties and streets. A rescue and recovery effort begins immediately. In all, nearly 3,000 people were killed in the 9-11 attacks. In response to the attacks, President George W. Bush announced that any nation that supported terrorism or was found to be harboring terrorists would be considered an enemy of the United States. At that time, the government of Afghanistan was ruled by Taliban, an extremist Muslim political movement who refused to shut down known terrorist training camps or give us suspected terrorists to the United States. Within a month, the United States invaded Afghanistan and began a war against Al-Qaeda, its leader Osama bin Laden, and the Taliban government who protected them. U.S. Special Forces found and killed Osama bin Laden in Pakistan in the spring of 2011. The attack had a profane impact on the United States and the rest of the world. The U.S. Congress designated September 11th as Patriot Day to remember and honor those who died. Today, flags are set to, ha to half staff and ACHS will observe a moment of silence and taps will be played for the victims and their families.